What's up guys? I just got off a plane and I'm back and I had a bunch of boxes at my door, like tons, because I ordered some stuff and I can't wait to share with you what I got. A couple mystery boxes today, but before we dive into the mystery boxes, I want to show you these fig pins that I got from New York Comic Con 2023. I picked up Panda which if I hide behind the pin, it might focus. This is a limited 750 piece. I love this one from Jujutsu Kaisen. We also got this Anosuke, which was actually a gift from a seller on whatnot. I will link them down below because they were so nice to pick this one up for me. And then I picked up Alex from Minecraft, the classic one of 500, 500 piece pin. Y'all, it's super cool, I love it. So these fig pins will be added to my collection. I love these fig pins, they are added to the collection, but with that out of the way, let's dive into the mystery boxes. These both are actually subscription boxes that I subscribe to, and this is my first BAM box ever. If you've ever heard of the BAM box, it is a autograph anime, kind of like subscription box. They're unfortunately going out of business and I subscribed to the last couple of months. This is actually my September box because they had a bunch of issues with the boxes and they even said this box isn't complete. They have to ship me like a bunch of other stuff that wasn't in this box. So I don't know what's in here. Um, I don't know what to look forward to. Hopefully Demon Slayer because that's what was the anime that was kind of advertised when I bought the box. But we got the BAM box. Let's dive right into it. I cut the tape off because I don't have a dedicated knife to like open these things. And it looks like we got some stuff here. So we get a limited one-time release pin from an anime that I unfortunately don't know. From an anime that I don't know. If y'all know what this is from, which you probably do, let me know down in the comments. I unfortunately don't know what that is. We got this. This looks like, what is this? Oh, I know exactly what this is. I'm not putting it on. Um, we got Nezuko's mouthpiece. That's what we got. We got Nezuko's mouthpiece from Demon Slayer. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's just a cosplay piece. Hey, if you are into Nezuko cosplay, which I am not, let me know and I will send that to you. <laughs> let me know down in the comments. Okay, and then we got this art print, which is actually awesome. I also don't know what this anime is, unfortunately. I feel like I should know this one, but I don't. Um, but it is a super cool print. Um, if y'all know what that's from, let me know down in the comments below. And that's it. Um, that is my BAM box, not a single autograph. So I'm assuming that the autograph is on the way. I hope, I paid, uh, I think they're about 40 bucks. So hopefully we get some autographed pieces um, coming soon. I will let you guys know if they decide to send the rest of my box and hopefully we'll get some stuff in the mail soon. Um, so that was the BAM box, not shabby. Um, I didn't really know the animes in it, but that's what you'd sign up for when you get a mystery box. And speaking of mystery boxes, I wanna make sure my uh, address isn't showing. We have the Indies Box of Radness subscription box. This is a once a month Funko Pop mystery box. You get a couple pops, you'll get a couple different things here and there and uh, you get a chance at whatever the grail is for the month. And there's 100 boxes, there's only 100. So once they sell out, they sell out. And I kind of got in on a glitch where they were updating the website and I saw it was available, so I signed up. So I think there's 101 spots now. Um, but we will see what they send us. This is my third, second box from them, third box from them. I've enjoyed them so far. Haven't hit a chase or a grail or anything like that, but it's definitely been worth my time and money. We get the mystery box sticker, pull out all of this. Okay, pulled out all of the bubble wrap and now it feels like we have four pops or maybe like two pops and something else. I don't know. Let's start with the thing that doesn't feel like a pop. Okay, horror dorbs. I've, I guess these are, Fre oh, this is Freddy Krueger. That's kind of cool. I'm not super into horror like at all, but if you are, this is kind of cool. I don't collect dorbs at all. This is number 58. They have the whole kind of like horror line right there. Not shabby, don't hate it. Um, I'm curious to know what it's worth. Probably not a ton, um, but we will add that right there, Dorps. Okay, I think the rest are Funkos. The rest are Funkos. Okay, let's start with this one. Black Clover, it looks like this is Luck. The triple A anime exclusive Luck. This is actually not a cheap pop. 
I want to say it's in the 20, 30 buck range. Um, I don't have this pop. I also don't collect Black Clover pops, but it is a super cool pop. So I will take it. That's a pretty cool pool, actually. I think, yeah, that's probably about a 20, $25 pop. We got two pops left. Let's see what we're going to snag. Okay, we got Training Deku. Okay, I have this pop. It's a pretty cool pop. Um, don't mind this one. It's not an expensive pop. They actually have the price on this one. It's 14. That sounds right. Um, and so not a terrible pull. I need Shota Aizawa to finish off the collection for that one. And then we have one more pop left. Okay. I'm trying to think of what the grail was for this month. I want to say it was a scream. Um, the scream face or whatever, that ghost face. I don't watch horror. I know it's an expensive pop. Um, it's not in a pop armor. It's in a soft protein. So let's see what we pull here. Captain Marvel. That's a bummer. <laughs> Captain Marvel is a bummer pull for, for plethora of reasons. Um, not awful. Uh, eight bucks for this pop. I'll probably add this one to a mystery box uh, coming up soon on Whatnot. If you want to follow me on Whatnot, you can. Linked in the description below. I do auctions. We do mystery boxes. We do all sorts of stuff. Um, my favorite pull from this month's release is definitely this luck. It's super cool. Um, Black Clover. Again, like I said, I don't watch Black Clo Clover. Um, I don't collect their pops, but... It is a cool one for sure. Thank you guys for tuning into today's episode. If you enjoy unboxings like this, let me know down in the comments below. We will definitely be doing more as the weeks and months come. And so if you have a recommendation as to a box that I should unbox or something like that, let me know and I would love to check it out. Guys, we will catch y'all in the next one. And until then, take care. Oh, and I totally forgot. Um, I think the value of this was just over 50 bucks. So it was over what I paid. It's a $45 box. And I think this was at like 55 bucks. So totally worth it. I'll see you guys in the next one.